About a month back, I made a really fast electric skateboard with 6,500 watts of power that could go around 35 miles per hour with range of near 20 miles. Well, that was a ton of fun, but it got me thinking, what if I could build a skateboard that you can sit on? Well, after weeks of thinking, I finally figured it out an icebox electric skateboard. Basically, I attached an icebox to my electric skateboard and even added foldable boat seats on top of the icebox. For those of you who are bad at skateboarding or afraid of riding an electric skateboard, this solved the issue as you can safely ride it like a mini car. Of course, with the icebox, you now have space within the skateboard to store your extra stuff, such as your groceries, drinks, Pepsi, Coke, etc, etc. The Icebox electric skateboard is one of a kind. This is the world's first Icebox electric skateboard. It features rubber, air-free tires, so you won't get stranded if your tires have a hole. The Icebox electric skateboard has dual 637 Ford motors, along with the latest Samsung 40T 21700 batteries, same as used on newer Tesla 3 models. Handles on the side, and footrest. The Icebox electric skateboard is controlled by a remote controller for accelerating braking, and turns are achieved by using your body weight. The handles on the side and footrest can also help you do tighter turns, but it's completely drivable hands-free just using your weight. This solves the biggest problem of electric skateboards. You're sitting down and simply moving your body weight to the left or right. There's no danger of falling on yourself unlike a regular skateboard. It is easy to ride even for kids, and you can even go fast, like 30 miles per hour or faster if you wanted to. But I didn't design it for going fast, as that beats the purpose of making an electric skateboard safer. Rather, I made it so anyone including your grandpa or grandma can ride it. Maybe to grab some groceries. Well, why don't you just watch me getting some of my groceries today? Hi guys, today I'm gonna go to the drugstore, it's about a uh, mile away, 30 degrees incline. Uh, let's go. Alright guys, uh, we made it up, mostly uphill. Um, my battery probably used maybe 15%. Double check. So I used 30% battery, but it's mostly uphill. So.
you have your club card, please scan it now. Scan items one at a time, placing them in the bagging area after each scan. For items without... Please remove all bagged items. Welcome. You have your club card. Please scan it now. Scan the items one at a time. Touch the quick the button. Hi guys, so um, I just bought some cherry coke. I was trying to get cherry Pepsi. Uh, I got some napkins, obviously. And I still have a ton of room for other stuff. But yeah, I just I just wanted to get some Pepsi <laughs> today. Anyway, right, we're gonna go home. So this was really designed not to go on the road so much. It's not really for high speed, although it can go uh, almost 30 miles, probably like 35 miles per hour top speed. Uh, but it's really been designed so it doesn't take up so much space because even though with the ice box it is kind of big, it can still go on the sidewalks, which is what's really nice. Exactly, um, stop on the dime, so that's something I'm working on. Obviously, you're gonna have to use your weight. Um, I do have handles on the side as you can see, uh, on both sides, which allows you to uh, turn even better if you uh, have two hands on the handle. Uh, but even without the handles, you can pretty much move your butts, move your body weight. designed for uh, like the next generation uh, cheap TV. It's, it's like a mini Tesla in a way. <laughs> you don't want to spend uh, 30 grand on a Tesla. You can buy like a, I don't know, uh, retail price for this would probably be around $15,000, $2,000. It still would beat uh, the range of a wheelchair and you'll be able to actually carry a lot more stuff in the icebox also. Um, so I think it's a good option. Let's go home. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my latest invention. Although there have been some skateboard mods involving some lounge chairs, I find them very unpractical for daily driving and they're very bulky. On the other hand, the Icebox electric skateboard gives you extra storage on top of nice comfy seats that allows you to ride all day long. So two miles, um, I have used about 30% of the battery. That's a real, real steep 30% grade most of the way. And that's about 4.467 kilometers, which is about I think, two miles a round trip. So pretty good. Um, you should be able to go easy uh, 10 to 15 miles on, even on these steep hills. If you're living on uh, flat ground, you should be able to go like 20 pretty easy. And the beauty of this skateboard is obviously 
you can store stuff, um, go shopping, 